Oh no, we were kicking everything. Oh, it's a mess. There we go. She keeps slapping things out of the way. Here, let me. <laughs> Going to bed. Always asked me if we could shoot some target that put out there. And, uh, how many yards is it? 348. 348 yards. It is windy. It's going to mess with us quite a bit. But it's like 25 miles an hour. It's terrible. But they want to shoot something. And John's got a spotting scope. And uh, it appears pretty high. Let's see what happens. Settle on here where you're not gonna move. Oh, oh yeah. John, can you see him? Alright, I got it. Alright, here we go. I went way over this side this time. Every time. Like your pink headphones. You didn't hear me. What's up, bud? What are you doing, stud? Aren't you awesome? Woo, windy. Let's go inside and talk for a minute. So we tried to shoot a little bit, but it's a few things are against this. Number one, it is windy as all get out. It's probably 25, 30 mile an hour winds. That's not good. Number two, our neighbors uh, uh, just came out and they were running their fence lines, which is fine. We're, we we need to stop shooting when our neighbors are nearby. I don't want any ricochets, anything. Daddy, so. I want that ice cream. Yeah, we will in a minute. I want to. We will. What are you making? Oh, stuffed peppers. Stuffed peppers. I got a dog at my feet. She's scared to death of all shooting. Uh-oh. Well, no more shooting right now. Stuffed peppers. Yummy. Oh, she's studying. Moms just think they stop going to school when they get older. No. Here we are. Working on a rock wall. Get Matt's laying, Sam striking it up. It looks like it's a little wet. Let it be. Just probably stop it right there. Since it's in the shade, it's not going to dry out as fast. Okay. Yeah, laying rock. We've been all this morning trying to get it up. This stuff's really wet. I mean, not wet, but um, what we call cold. It doesn't dry out fast. So. It, it has to, you can only lay it up so high and then kind of let it cure and then come back and hit it some more. So, you guys are a bunch of studs. Who taught you to do all this? It's crazy. How'd you know? Really good boss. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go flush with that block and then. Uh, put caps on, just regular limestone caps. 
Then we just did this add-on, all this brick. We gotta acid wash it, but we're waiting for it to dry out. Then we'll put some limestone right here on the cap there. And then we'll get, they want stone coat. Um, we're gonna put stone coat on this one and this one and around the corner there. So, let's see what it looks like. Three different types of material on this one job. It's just nice that it's not raining or snowing right now so we can get some work done. Love working with my sons. They're beasts. Spend most of my day with them. Their whole life they've come to work with me. And now I see them and they're size of men, they're young men, and here they are working now. All those, all these years of coming with it, me and helping me. And now they're just it's inspiring. It's pretty cool. I'm just saying. So where are we going to see? Babies. Babies? goats this year and well um we're doing good and it's nice and chilly out here isn't it yeah. anytime we always have goats you know cold fronts hit and goats just start having babies look at that look at these this babies clean. there's two boys and one girl Yeah. Disgusting. What are you doing? Getting warm. This one's getting warm. Hey, it's another one. 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 Hey, it's is that your goat? Yes. That one's your goat? That goat's bigger than you are. She yes. is huge. She's hardy. She, she's our oldest. That's one massive goat. I think, she I just think is. She's stout. This video does not do justice. Just laid the caps today. We got them prepped yesterday and we're laying them today, finishing them up this Saturday. It's rare that we work on Saturdays, but sometimes you just have to. It's all right. We gotta finish the job so we can go to the next job on Monday and not have to come back here and do a little bitty stuff for a half day. So it's easier to just get it done now, bike check and move on, um, you know, so. Proud of them. Don't tell them I said that though. I don't want them to get the big head about it. No, no big heads. We're done. So, but in the meantime, we got a bunch of other jobs lined up. So it's good. Get to work with my boys. It's the greatest thing. It's awesome. I remember when they were little bitty, like four, five, six, and they come with me to work and they were just useless. They were a joy to be around, yes, yes. But they were useless because they were like. Sam, your Sam's version of work was, hey dad, can I have your cell phone or your tablet and play a game on it? So now he's making a hand and he's making money. His truck's paid off already. He's he's uh does side jobs, makes money. Matt, same thing. Matt's doing side jobs. So you know, am I just raising a bunch of greedy little capitalists? How dare I? 
Like, I don't know. Uh, and, and if you want to think of it negatively that way, I guess you could. But what if I was going to raise, oh, I don't know, productive tax-paying citizens? Ah, you see, all of a sudden, you're not so evil and terrible. Uh-huh. See, so. Anyway. See, it's all about perspective, right? It's good. We're excited about I'm glad they get to help me with these things. They get the experience of laying rock, laying brick, laying stone. Rock. Wait, wait, what did I say? Brick, block, rock, and stone. So it's a good thing. So, they're better for it. Let's put it that way. He can't back up. He always has to turn around. Lean back. Hey.